tightening tracks now, and the government expert panel has recommended market authorization to Covishield and Covaxin under conditions. According to officials, both vaccines will continue to be available only at hospitals registered with COVID. For now, the expert panel has said that the vaccine will be available for clinics and hospitals, and they will have to submit all details in COVID at the time of administration. But final nod is still awaited from DCGI. Let me go across to my colleague Ayushman. Ayushman, for the common man, for people who might be seeing this news, what exactly does this announcement actually mean? Uh, you know, in any way, does it mean that uh, there's going to be uh, people can actually avail this, buy it or over the counter? Or do we still have a few steps to go for that? Well, uh, the full market authorization uh, means exactly the availability of the vaccine uh, over full uh, the counter sales is allowed, but it would be important to see what guidelines come. So what are the conditions which are added from the DCGI side? Uh, what we have been told so far is that the subject expert committee has recommended for market authorization of Covishield and Covaxin. Uh, these both vaccines have been given uh, in larger proportion to the Indian population for COVID-19. Over 130 crore has been administered to uh, has uh, people have been given COVID shield and over 20 crore have uh, been given uh, the COVID shield, uh, the co vaccine. Now, if you see the uh, subject expert committee's recommendation, it is being said that somewhere the recommendation has been given to the condition that these vaccines will be given in clinics and hospitals which are registered with COVID and also uh, when they uh, give the uh, doses, they have to. Uh, uh, keep a record of that and update that record on COVID. But what all will be the condition? That is something which the DCGI will give uh, and uh, the final approval is still awaited from the DCGI. But yes, it looks like that in the coming days we are going to see a change in the availability of vaccine in the open market in the days to come. Right, Ayushman, thank you so much for joining us with that update. I'm also joined over the phone line by Dr. Jayesh Lele, Honorary Secretary of the IMA. Dr. Lele, what we can in fact see is that this is, of course, at the moment, we are still a step or two away from full market approval for Covaxin and Covishield. The final word has to come in from the Drugs Regulator Authority. But what we can in fact see is that this is in a way uh, possibly helpful for people who might look at uh, going in directly and buying the vaccines over the counter, in fact, it, rather than going through the laborious process of COVID. Is that what it um, possibly means in the future if the final nod actually comes through? Appreciate the government's open market uh, uh, system wherein the vaccine will be available at a very freely, at a very uh, market-friendly uh, manner and it will be available to every person in a uh, remotest place where the vaccine can reach because then the company will be uh, taking them uh, right up to the market how the medicines are available. And it is a bit, uh, of course, the GCI will give the proper uh, control uh, the conditions, COVID registration is a mandatory, that's the most important because ultimately whenever you are traveling, you need to have the vaccine certificate. So I appreciate the government of taking this and I, it's a really boon because we are still away from the good uh, vaccine uh, total. Even if we have reached 1 1.5, 150 crore vaccination, uh, second dose and third dose also now when we are recommending, we need a lot of preparation for that. So it's an open and it's a good market. Initial stage, uh, uh, what we can in fact see is that there's still going to be a final uh, word awaited from the Drugs Controller General of India. Uh, but Dr. Jay Shlele there, thank you so much for joining us with your views on this important story that we are following.